Hello. Friday. Thank fuck. What a fucking week. Right. Uh, bear with me. Right. I've got no idea why I left you. So the week started off by going, and I remember it clearly. Sometimes I can't remember, bugger all, but um, I can remember Tuesday. It's where I had a job that I had to leave early in the morning and drive 171 miles up into Suffolk to get there, to be told that the address was wrong, and I should have been 30 miles away from where I started. So I then had to drive 191 mile back, run out of time and have to sleep in their car park. <laughs> you couldn't make it up, fucking hell. So anyway, that was Tuesday. Uh, oh, I've got no idea what happened Wednesday. Um, where did I go Wednesday? Don't know. Thursday, what did I do yesterday? Oh, I thought I knew. Needless to say though, there's been fuckery every day. Yesterday, that was it, yesterday, well, I still don't know where I went. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I overnighted. Ah, that's right. Wednesday, I had to go to the tea bag factory. Radcliffe. Manchester way. So I was late getting there, because I was a knock-on effect from the day before. So I was late getting there. Got there, tipped, and I only got as far as limb services. So that on Wednesday, I had to leave limb services, hot foot it all the way down Southampton. <coughs> and I was supposed to be in Reading for Six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning I was supposed to be there for. And uh, there was a delay on the docks, three hours. Now, I can't work out why there was a delay, other than just general fuckwittery. But, take from this what you want. The people who own the docks in Southampton are the same people that own p &O ferries. Now, as you can probably work out from that, their management of the assets that they have are appallingly bad. So I can only assume that that's what the problem is down at Southampton docks, because it was fucking shocking. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't know. So anyway, that was yesterday. So, yeah, I was supposed to be there for six in the morning. I didn't get on the docks until... How time did I get on the docks? I had a three o'clock BBS, that's right. Three o'clock BBS. So technically, it was possible trouble was it was plus three no it was eight o'clock on the no eight o'clock on the docks that's right I had a VBS of eight o'clock by the time I'd got down it was the VBS was for eight o'clock so I was already two hours late and I hadn't even got on the docks then there was the three hour delay so I eventually got to Reading six and a half hours late <coughs> Thankfully, they were as good as gold and tipped me really quickly. About an hour. It was all palletised, so that was alright. And then last night, I came out of there, and because my time was nearly up, I stopped in um, in Newbury Services in Cheveley. 
ran down to the docks this morning. The docks still weren't running smoothly. They were still uh, all over the place. For no real reason other than just, I don't know, I've got no idea. And then um, I'm heading up to uh, sunny Doncaster. Well, I think I'm supposed to be there for something like eight o'clock. Well, you can guess that that isn't going to happen because the time now is five past seven and I'm cutting through between Toaster and the M1 uh, on the A5 northbound because there seems to be some fuckery down the road. But I'm going to the red line for a break which means I've got to sort of little, I've got to go back a couple of miles just so I can get into the red line. But I'm doing it because A is secure and B I'm fucking starving and C I need a break. Now my card went in this morning at quarter to two. So it's a nice little run along here so I thought I'd put you on. of fuck wittery. It's been a, a tiring week this week actually. Feeling a bit a bit jaded. It's, it's the early starts and I, again don't get me wrong I, I, I like the early starts because it means I get parked. Um, that doesn't mean that I, I I enjoy getting up at fucking one o'clock in the morning, turning into a vampire. You know, it's um, it's your body clock. You know, because at the weekend you got to try and switch back to being a normal person, and I ain't normal to start off with. Let alone trying to trying to fit in with the rest of society that doesn't get up at one o'clock in the morning. I said to I said to the gorgeous Kira last night. I spoke to her about half past five, and I said, "Oh, I'm just about to go to bed." And so of course, she's just finished work, isn't she? She's you know she chuckles every time I say it. I don't know why it makes her laugh, but yeah, I'm just off to bed in a minute. <laughs> oh, it's not funny. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. She was cooking last night and she had a friend coming around. So she was cooking dinner for her. <laughs> now the gorgeous Kira doesn't like cooking. She cooked for her friend. Mind you, she does do a good roast. I'll give her that. She's spot on with roast. I don't like cooking roast. 30 mile an hour limit. Slow down there, my son. Is on. Off. Go. Yeah, so I'm going to pile into the red line. So I want a bit of breakfast. Of mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A5, Roman Road. No, I'm not going straight across. I'm actually going to turn right here. Because when I get down to Cross the next the roundabout, roundabout... And take the second exit. No. So when I get down to the next roundabout... Oh, the camera might tip over. Take it nice and steady. Good to go. Um, I just got to go across that, cut the road about a quarter of a mile when I'm there. 
So it's not far. So what else has been happening? It was warm last night. And I did have a fridge across the road. For, what's going on there? And I did have a fridge across the road, across the uh, park from me, so I could hear it chuntering on and off all night. Now I know that, you know, we need fridges running, they need to run the fridges all night. But if you're driving a fridge, you get used to it, you know? So therefore, you know, it doesn't bother you. And if you didn't like fridge work, you wouldn't do it. You'd go and get another job. So, you know, you get used to the noise. And so that means you get a good night's sleep. But for those of us that aren't used to fridges and don't pull fridges, it can sometimes be a bit fucking annoying. I understand they can't turn them off. And they shouldn't. But this is where the service station should their own, you know, they should have a naughty corner for the fridge boys. And they go and sit in the corner and talk about frozen shit. Mind you, you could have a, you could have a, you could have a kinky corner for the V8 Scania drivers. They could all go in there and compare fucking high heels, couldn't they? I had a bloke next to me today, he, put, he, 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 he slotted into me on the docks. His curtain was halfway across his fucking window. He couldn't have seen anything to his right or left. There's a fucking curtain halfway across. And fucking tassels everywhere. What the fuck? You know, he can't, he would have to peer. His, his nose would have to be level with his fucking steering wheel to be able to look to the right or left so he could see out his window. Why would you? purposely fucking blind yourself. It's like a horse wearing fucking blinkers. Or is that to stop them getting distracted at fucking shoe shops? Oh, lovely heels. Oh, sorry. Fucking wet in the back of someone. Why, what happened now? Well, I was looking in the shoe shop. They had some nice fucking gorgeous pink six inch stilettos. Or for your wife? No, well, you know, I'll get bored at night. Fuck me. That's what it must be, it's like blinkers, isn't it? It stops them. Oh, that's a pretty dress. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. You can tell I've got fucking sleep deprivation. I'm talking more bollocks than normal. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A45. Well, yes. So I did got it wrong. It's not this roundabout, it's the next roundabout. We're nearly there. I can almost smell my breakfast. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. in there for diesel. Take the exit, A45, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, M1, towards the north. I saw 172 the other day for diesel. I was in an Asda. After 600 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the motorway. No. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the motorway. Good to go. Oh. Right into the red line. Oh, the camera's gone over. You're not going to see the red line. Pull in here a second just so you can. Uh,
everything proper like. Bear with me. I don't like being um uh, well, it just shows that I don't cut nothing out, doesn't it? There you go. No fancy editing. Montaging. Or any of that malarkey. Where's all this fucking traffic coming from? Come on, my son. Well, if it goes over again, you, you shit out. So I happen to be a lay boy there. I'm fucking starving. Well, it's looking a bit empty in there. This is good. Well, it should be at this time of the morning. Everyone should be on the road. It's only fat fuckers like me that are pulling in for breakfast. Will it go again? Oh, I don't know. Bob, oh, fucking hell, I give up. I give up. So anyway, I'm about to pull into the red line. For some breakfast. So you've got a nice view of the uh, inside. Can I get through anywhere down there? Nick? Oh, fucking hell, it's going to be a bit fucking tight getting through the petrol station. I've only gone over again as I go around here. Yeah, this is warts and all. I might be naughty. I've been naughty. I've been naughty. Right, I reckon I can sneak through here. That was, uh, that was lucky. Well, there's no lunatic going to try and jump between the wagons. Oh, Amazon, look, he didn't even look. Just fucking pull straight out. Shut up, beeping. I know I haven't got my seatbelt on. I'm in a car park. Loop round and go up by old. Uh, where the fuck are they going? Crazy fucker, let them. After half a mile, it's oh, right on the roundabout and life. takes the third exit, M1, towards the north. I think somebody just put their hand up to me. I don't know. Oh, no, I'm going to go in between these two. No, I'm not. See, I'm fucking indecisive when there's no... lots of space. Right. Shut up. Right, I'm here. And I'm about to go on break. So, there you go. I'll speak to you in a bit. 